So I had an opportunity to talk to almost every agent today. And I don't think that we've had a chance to just talk to you as a person. Okay. So I'm a person too. Not, not the real estate <laughs> agent, right? But, but the, the name is behind you is your company. And it's our company. It's very interesting to hear seriously the lives that you touch. Okay. So is that one of your driving factors in your life is to reach out to as many people that you can and you see something in them like Jackie and Mm -hmm. you say those words out loud to her and that drop of water and the ripple effect it, it causes, is that really why you do what you do? I mean, there's probably more than one reason why I do what I do, but is that at the core of it? Yeah. I mean, if I can change someone's life, then what what else is there? What is better than that, right? So if I can take or help someone and change their life, then, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what else, you know, money is great, but it's not going to change my life. And it might change theirs, right? And just moving them from a different position in their life, like from being a waiter or a waitress, we happen to have a few of each. But yeah, that motivates me. If I can, I just, I don't know, I just see something in people. I just see quality. We don't ever, and you know this, but we don't chase uh, people that are doing transactions. Correct, know? right. I mean, we didn't hire Jake because he was doing transactions. He had none, <laughs> right? But I knew he was a good person. And uh, and so I just feel like if we hire good people, and our culture is strong enough, it'll cultivate them into being good good realtors and, and give them an opportunity to have a great living. Mm-hmm. And it's not just realtors, though, I don't think. I mean, I think that you're well, helping. Well, that's true. I you mean, anybody. I mean? Sure. I mean, we took people that were never even thinking about real estate, and they see us like, wow, you know, something that I can change somebody's life, I can serve, I can continue to do yeah. what I want to do. But Well, Jackie's an example of that, right? I mean, she was she was a server at, uh, at, at Rough Draft, and I just... Uh, just always a good kind person anytime we were there and and you know she some of the things that she shared with me on facebook of all places kind of touched me and felt like i could help her sure sure and it takes a different kind of person i think john to really do what you're doing i mean really it it hearing just some of the interviews i had today and chris can attest to this these people you've changed their life yeah and i just wanted to say thanks i mean when you started this company it wasn't about selling homes i don't think well it was about eating (laughs) (laughs) i had to eat i had no money i was broke i needed to do something to to uh feed my belly Mm -hmm. but uh but that's never enough i mean there's got to be something bigger so one of the questions that i've been asking everybody is you know i say look into the camera and i say talk to talk to john (laughs) talk to john 12 years ago i'm gonna do this talk to john 12 years ago and give john advice how could I say do anything different? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, uh, I just, uh, John, no, I don't know. I mean, that's a tough, that's, that's tougher for me to do than for somebody else. I would assume, um, 12 years ago, you know, I just, I don't know. I wouldn't change anything or I wouldn't be here. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. I had them say to themselves, like, Talk to you as an agent, like, hey, I got to find a place to land. Why would I be, you know, why wouldn't you come here now? And a lot of them said, you know, the word that came almost every single one of them is family. Yeah. Like, I felt like I was family. Yeah. I was not intimidated. Everyone welcomed me with open arms. Everyone reached out and hugged me. Everyone asked me for help. Um, and that's something they couldn't find anywhere else. And then I went a little deeper and I talked about the retreat, you know, how did you feel in that retreat? I mean, we work hard and many of them said that it's a family that they've never known and it's a family that their family supports this family. And I think that's what the John Wentworth real estate group is about. It's not about homes. It's not about sales. It's about changing your life. And I think that's what you've done. So. Amen. And you help. (laughs) Amen. So, (laughs) I mean, I just, you know, I, real estate for me is, we say this all the time. I mean, it's an opportunity for someone to have a career instead of a job. 
right? And I think that I mean the beauty of the beauty of real estate it forces you to put the little boy to bed, right? It forces you to grow up. It forces you to change the things that you do in the community. It forces you to be a better person. It forces you to have compassion for others, um, because we're so close to people as they go through the process of buying or selling or whatever it may be. And uh, I just think there's honestly, I mean, it's one of the greatest professions in the world. It truly is. And so for me to try to build this business um, and continuing to bring, uh, you know, new new agents in, not for them to be agents, for them to be part of this family, you know, and, and part of, I can't even look in your damn eyes. Come on now. Because <laughs> you well, know I've changed. For sure. Yeah. For, for sure. sure. I mean, I see it in so many people, you know, and it's... Uh, the effect that it has not only on you, but on your family, on your, you know, on your life, on your legacy, on how you serve so many other people. I mean, I just, there is not many industries in the world that we can get so close to people and, and have such an impact on them. And that's goes from our customers uh, to the people on our, on our team and in our family, to Chris, you know, to just all of the people that we meet, you know, people in the community, whether we even do a transaction with them or not. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I just, uh, I mean, that's the, I don't know. I'm a people person. I love people. I believe everybody has good in them. Um, and, uh, it's just my job to, to facilitate a place for them to be the best they can be. So at the core, (laughs) describe the person that, that is absolutely perfect for this group. I think because of who we are, there is no absolute perfect person because it could fit anybody that maybe doesn't think that they're perfect for it. You know what I mean? I don't know if that answers it correctly or if that muddies the waters, but I just mean like, I mean, there is no perfect person. And and because, because of our culture and because of everything that we have to provide an agent to you know, to go from whether it's a brand new agent that's never sold real estate in their life and sell 30 homes the first year or, uh, you know, an agent that's sold that's been in the real estate for 15 years and sold 18 homes last year and is on track to do 40 this year. You know, I don't I don't I think that what you're asking really is the personality traits. Right. You know, someone that's a very uh, low ego. Right. Um, somebody that is humble somebody that truly wants to serve people and you can't chase dollars, right? I mean, we all need to eat. I get that. But if you're just doing it for the money, then this is not the right place. If you're doing it to, you know, to take care of people, to serve people and make lots of money, then this is the place. But if you're just focused solely on money, I don't know. I mean, we all need it. And I don't want to, I don't want to, I go back 12 years ago when I didn't have any, right? So I mean, sure. yeah, we all need it. But if you're focused solely on that, I just don't think no matter what you do in life, it can't sustain, you know, I mean, a lot of people have a lot of great jobs, you know, making a hundred, 200,000 a year and they quit them because, you know, they fall out of love with what they didn't love in the first place. Mm-hmm. Another thing a lot of people talked about, Chris, and you'll attest to this, is a lot of them brought out up how they love our faith. They love how we start our meetings with prayer, uh, and they love how faith is an important part of our business. And faith is who we are. I mean, that's what drives being humble. That's what drives low ego. That's what drives, uh, you know, at the end of the day. <laughs> you got me messed up, bro. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm no perfect Christian by any means. And, and, and again, that goes back to there. We're not looking for perfect. Uh, we're looking for people that um, are reflective, right? I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I can. I can lay my head on the pillow, pillow and uh, I don't I don't go to bed wondering or questioning or um, carrying anything. Um, that, you know, maybe some people do because they choose to focus on the money. And when you focus on the money, you do dumb stuff. Yes, you and, do. and, uh, I don't ever have to think about that. You know, I go to, I, I sleep, I sleep well, unless my brain won't stop working about what we're going to do next week or tomorrow. Um, but I don't know. I just, uh, I forgot the question. Well, <laughs> I, I think at the end of the day, what I really wanted to know, to be quite frank is you're sitting at the retreat and 
you're looking around the room at the lives you're touched. And then after the retreat, you see what happens, really what goes inside of John's heart right there. You know, I mean, I don't dwell on that because I think you can get lost in patting yourself on the back. I mean, when, what hit me was when I pulled into the retreat and I saw all those cars, right? And I'm like, holy cow, you know, this is way bigger than me. It's just my name because we marketed really well a long time ago, you know? Uh, And it just happens to be that people are trying to build teams out of, um, we see it all the time, right? Whether it's here, whether it's when we go to, uh, to our coaching stuff, people are trying to build teams out of, I want to build a team. And we built a team out of necessity. And I always talk about the foundational aspect of it. Like, you know, we talk about moving into other markets, um, but we don't just run into them. We try to continue to grow the foundation and spread into those markets rather than jump into those markets. And I think it's the same thing in real estate. You've got to have a very strong foundation. You've got to have a heck of a work ethic. And if you put those things forward here, I mean, you know, you mentioned why here, because I think this is, this is true. Somebody can start here. That's never sold real estate, i.e. you. And I don't know how many years you've been here, but, uh, continual, continually grow your business and serve people and do it in a way that does not take away from your personal life because of the structure and because of the, you know, the, the backend support that allows other people to handle the things that you don't have to. And you can just focus on serving your people. 